All right, here are my top seven biggest mistakes that you are making with women that you cannot get. Those girls that you just can't get. Those girls that are just a little too hot for you. All right, these are the top seven mistakes that you are making with those hotties, with those women. So let's crack right into this, guys. All right, so the first mistake that you are making when it comes to women that you can't get right the first mistake you're making is you are acting just a little too desperate just a little too needy a little too clingy right and this really comes from sinking into lower consciousness no different from wanting bad food junk food sugar cookies candy burritos nachos it really comes from the same place psychologically right you just sink into scarcity where you become fixated on this person you know you basically get a case of one itis for a girl right because that's essentially what it is you get one itis and then you start acting desperate you're like i've got to get this girl oh my god my world's gonna crumble if i don't get this girl how do i get that one girl the number one question that i get from guys is how do i get this one girl and Unfortunately, I have to tell them as a professional pickup artist, I've gone through this for the last few decades now, the way that you get that one girl, you have to become good with girls, period. Okay, so it's not like I can give you this magic pill to get that one girl. Basically, what you need to do is you need to train to a point where you're good with all women. And then, and only then, can you get that one girl. You know, and believe me, I've experienced this not only with students, but myself. I mean, there were girls that I couldn't get back in the day because I was just trying to get her. I gotta get her. And then once I started focusing on just getting good with women, period, guess what? I got that girl, right? There's no shortcut to it, right? You have to take the scenic route. There's no shortcut. So uh, that is the number one mistake guys make is they're just too desperate too needy, too clingy with girls, and a lot of that comes from lack of game, okay? Lack of game, scarcity, one-itis, this is, this is what happens when you're not in seven months to mastery, right? <laughs> For you guys who aren't in the program, right? You guys who are and are watching this in my program, right? But you guys who aren't, this is why you make these dumb mistakes. They're very, very basic, even comical mistakes that you make that you know, so many guys, so many guys who also don't have game do as well. They're just, you know, they're just too pushy with these girls and then they, they push the girl away. So that's the number one. And the number two biggest mistake guys make is they give the girl too much attention. Okay. And this kind of goes back to number one, but specifically they give the girl a little too much of their time, a little too much of their energy. They validate the girl a little too much. They feed into her ego a little too much, right? And the girl is never feeding into theirs, right? The girl's never being like, you know, so the guy might be like, oh, you're so hot. Not only that, but you're really smart too. You're obviously well-educated. Your parents raised you right. Meanwhile, the girl's like, that's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she's not giving you anything back. She's not like, oh, you went to a good school too. Or, oh, you're not so bad looking yourself, right? She's not giving the guy anything back. And the guy's just like, here he is blowing up her phone, right? Mass texting her like day and night, like spam texting her, dropping her all these messages and, and whatnot. And the girl's like, oh my God, that's too much enough. I mean, I've seen situations where the girl really liked the guy. Right, I've seen a number of these situations where there was a girl, hot girl, and there was this guy who came along, and for whatever reason, she happened to like him. She was like, oh, he's cute. I, I, I think I'm kind of attracted to him. And then the guy <laughs> screwed it up. He blew it. He blew it by just feeding into her ego too much, validating her too much, not holding his frame as a man, just completely giving away his, like all of his mystery. Right? There was nothing that she needed to know about him. I mean, it's like this guy was like texting her night and day. Um, he demonstrated his lack of abundance, right? Because if you have other women in your life, the women will feel that, right? The women you're pursuing will feel that. If there are other hotties in your life, believe me, 
all the girls that are in your uh, that you're gaming that are in your pipeline will feel it. How will they feel it? They'll feel it because they're getting what I call intermittent attention from you, right? They're getting intermittent attention from you. Um, and every girl that I'm dating now will will attest to that. They'll be like, yeah, sometimes I hear from Matt, sometimes I don't, sometimes it bothers me, but hey, he's a busy guy, right? Whereas there are these other chumps in their lives that are trying to get with him or have gotten with him in the past and flat out, they've been like, oh, Ew, no, gross. Ew, I'm not attracted to him. And a lot of these guys, I've seen pictures of them. I'm like, man, this guy's actually pretty good looking. What's going on, right? Guy's younger than me. He's better looking. He's more jacked. Why aren't you attracted to him? You know, I mean, yeah, it gets to the point where I, it makes me question myself. I'm like, yeah, why aren't you attracted to him? I'm like, oh my God, he was a firefighter. <sighs> oh, and he would call me all the time, leave me messages, buy me flowers every day. It's like, oh, you don't want that? <laughs> Right? You would think as a girl, you'd want that. And you're like, oh, it's just, it's too much. It's too much, you know? So giving her too much attention is a huge, huge mistake. Instead, you want to give these girls intermittent attention. And obviously that's easier to do when you're dating other women. Okay. When you're only dating her and she's the only one, it's a little harder to do, right? Because you have nobody else but her. Now, what happens if you're in a long-term relationship with a girl or if you're married to, if you're married right now? You know, you obviously you can't be going out there, right, fielding your options and uh, creating intermittent attention that way. But what you can do, because I have a few married guys in my program, uh, what I have these guys do is refocus on other aspects of their lives, right? A lot of times these guys want to build like a side business or they want to create a side gig where they bring in extra money or they want to uh, kind of go back to a childhood hobby or just something else to focus on beyond just their girl, beyond just their relationship, right? So it's a matter of just diverting your focus elsewhere where you could be productive, you could feel good about yourself, and you won't be thinking about her constantly 24 seven, right? Because if your focus is the woman 24 seven, all you're gonna do is push her away, okay? All you're gonna do is push her away. No matter how great looking you are, no matter how much money you have, because I get a lot of guys like, oh, it's all about money and looks. It's like, dude, I've taken, I've peeled plenty of women off of these guys with money and looks. Better looking than me, more money than me, I've peeled plenty of these women away. No problem. Just because I did not give them the level of crazy spam attention that, you know, their exes gave them. All right, moving on. The number three biggest mistake guys make, and this just kind of, goes back to what we we're just talking about is making her the center of your universe again you know I, I have to pound on this guys just because so many of you guys do this especially when you meet a girl that you really like so this isn't gonna happen with a girl that you just kind of like right or a girl that yeah she's just kind of hanging around because um, those type of girls you don't care about right you're able to be your normal self with those type of girls right the girls that you feel that you have higher value than them you're better looking than them you know you could get better than them those type of girls, you're not gonna make the center of your universe. You're able to stay on your path and purpose as a man. They're not able to distract you off of that, right? I'm talking about the girls who are just a little bit above what you're used to getting, right? Just a little bit hotter than what you normally get. Those are the girls that are gonna test you. Those are the girls that are gonna distract you. Those are the girls that are gonna pull you off your path and purpose if you let them, right? If you let them. And those are the girls that are gonna become the star of your movie if you let them, right? And guess what? You can't let them. You have to remain the center of your own universe. You have to be like the king of your own world. And she has to be an observer of that, right? She has to be a spectator of that. She cannot like take over your movie, take over your world, right? Because if you let her, it's the beginning of the end. And I've seen many fantastic relationships or relationships that started out fantastic end because the guy crumbled like a little girl. The guy crumbled because he made the woman the star of his movie. He was no longer the star. He became a bit player in his own movie, right? In his own movie, he lost the starring role to his woman. It always ends bad. That type of movie always ends bad, by the way. When the girl takes over, it always ends bad. As a man, you must remain the star. 
you must remain the king, okay? And she must remain an audience member. She must remain an observer. You must be the observed in your relationship because if your woman is the observed in your relationship, guess what? It's doomed. It is doomed, right? Think about all those girls that you don't really care about, that you know that you could get better and you know you don't you don't really think about them too much but they they like you right they want to be with you they're in love with you and you just kind of brush them off constantly for those girls you are the observed okay you are the observer of those type of girls now the trick is i want you to be able to transfer that onto girls like a higher caliber girl a hotter girl that you're that is just a step above what you're used to Okay, just a step above what you're used to because that's where the real test is going to come. I mean, it's easy to be alpha when the waters are calm, right? Easy to be alpha. Anybody can be alpha when the waters are calm. But when the tide comes in and the storm comes in and this crazy hurricane comes in, that's a test to, to see if you could still, if you could stand still and remain alpha, remain calm and non-reactive and not get uh, shaken by anything external coming at you. All right. The number four mistake that guys make when trying to get with a woman you can't get is giving that girl way too much credit, okay? Thinking that like, oh, she could do nothing wrong. She's this goddess. She's perfect. She's just perfect, you know, just because of her physical attractiveness. She's like, oh my gosh, this is, she's a queen, you know? <sighs> I'm so lucky to be with her. Do you ever hear that too? You ever hear guys like, when they see uh, when they see a guy dating a hot girl, they'll like tell the girl like, "Oh, he's a lucky guy. He's a lucky guy." How do you know that guy? Yeah, how do you know she's not lucky? Right? I hate it when guys do that. By the way, it's so beta. Oh, he's a lucky guy. Um, yeah, I don't I don't credit girls like that anymore. Um, a lot of times, I will just tell the girl like, "Oh, lucky girl." Like I'll ask about the guy. Oh, what does he do? Oh, he's in finance. Oh, he's he's got his shit together and he treats me right. Oh, you're a lucky girl right? I'll let her know. Giving her way too much credit and uh, thinking that, uh, you know, she's this angel that is just flawless, right? Because even the hottest girls in the world, if you look at the hottest, most attractive women in the world, if we were to put them in a room, I bet with each one of them, we can find a flaw very easily and very quickly. We could find like a pimple or some kind of like uh, body disproportion. Maybe she might have a little bit of a stomach or maybe she might have, you know, small boobs or something like that. If you want to consider that, you know, uh, a negative, there's always going to be some flaw that she doesn't like about herself. Okay. There's always going to be something. And usually the hotter she is, the more insecure she is with herself. Uh, that is what I've noticed guys is girls who the hotter they are, the more insecure they are with themselves. Like you would think like a drop dead gorgeous 10, like a dime piece would have full confidence, right? Like, no, you're flawless. You should have full confidence. No. Those are the girls who are the most insecure are the drop dead gorgeous dime pieces. Those are the girls that have the lowest self esteem. On the flip side, do you want to know who has the highest self esteem? Who is the most secure with themselves and the most confident? Those are going to be your fours, your fives, even under that twos, threes, right? The really, really just kind of like, ugh. Yeah, those type of girls, just like five foot two, 200 pound tyrant, those are gonna be the type of girls that are gonna be the loudest, the mouthiest, the most confident, the highest self esteem, even though they have no rhyme or reason to be that, right? Those are gonna be the girls that are gonna be, you know, thinking that they're just, you know, the, the best thing to come along since sliced bread, right? And, the women who are actually hot and actually beautiful are not going to feel that way about themselves. It's really interesting how that works. And really, you can play on that, really. You know, I mean, you can. You can play on that. That's why negs, right, negs work so well on beautiful women. It's because they're already somewhat insecure with themselves and they have low self-esteem. So negs work beautifully on really gorgeous women. Whereas you try a neg on a two or a three or a four, woman in looks, uh, she's probably going to attack you and try to hit you, <laughs> right? It's not going to work on her because she's a fully confident, I'm a strong woman. 
This is what a strong woman looks like, mister. This is what a feminist looks like. What screws this up is when you guys do meet a girl of that level of physical attractiveness is you start giving her too much credit and you start telling her exactly how beautiful she is, right? And you start telling her she's just perfect. She's just flawless. And then she starts looking at you like, okay, this guy's like, oh, he's a chump. He's like all the others. Because a hot girl gets compliments all day. Even though she's she has low self-esteem and she's insecure with herself, she gets complimented all day long. And all you're doing is just showing her you're another one of those chumps who's like, oh, you're such a princess. Oh, you're so gorgeous. So uh, you want to avoid giving her too much credit, okay? because that's what every chump in the book is doing that can't get her, that ends up in her friend zone. And I don't want that to be you, right? All right, the number five biggest mistake that you're making with women you can't get is you are not giving her enough space to chase you, right? There is no push-pull. All it is is you push, push, pushing, right? And when there's no push-pull, when there's no on off and it's just on 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 you're going to lose the girl right you're not giving her a chance to become attracted to you you're not giving her a chance to like you and this is where intermittent attention really comes into play right other guys call it dread game i call it intermittent attention right when you're just not giving her enough room to chase you and you're constantly just always asking her out, always hitting her up, always liking all her photos on social media, always dropping these positive comments on any photo that she uploads, always praising her, right? You're not giving her any room to chase you. You know, what a lot of you guys want to do in this situation is you just want to take a step back, right? Take a step back. As I say, one step forward, two steps back. That is how you should play these girls. One step forward, two steps back. And one of the deadliest pickup artist techniques that you could ever possibly master, okay, one of the deadliest, is the art of push-pull, right? The art of push-pull, where you push a little, right? You might text the girl um, like several times in a row one day, and then all of a sudden, you disappear for the next few days. You completely ghost her. You're not available for her, right? And then all of a sudden, randomly, you hit her up again, Hit her up with a couple of messages, messages, then you back away. You take another step back. Okay? That is the art of push-pull. You give the girl a little bit, and then you take it away. We also call those takeaways, which is very, very, very powerful in uh, pickup artistry, right? We call them takeaways, where you might see me, see me do this physically with a girl in field, where I will grab the girl, I'll spin her around, I'll hug on her, I'll get her feeling real good, right? And then... Out of nowhere, I will just push her off of me. Push the girl off, like literally, physically push her off, right? Obviously in a you know, lighthearted manner, not like <laughs> angry, but a lighthearted manner, push her away. And she's like, whoa, what happened? And I'm like, okay, show's over. You've had enough. Good night. <laughs> what? You know, and then I'll like walk, like I'm walking out the door and then I'll turn around, come here, and I'll do it again. And then push the girl off again, right? I'll do those takeaways constantly throughout the night. And psychologically in her head, it's letting her know like this guy is in abundance. He does not need me to exist. And when you're not giving the girl enough space to chase you, all you are demonstrating to the girl is that you lack that abundance and that you do need her to exist. You cannot hold frame without her, okay? And that's the biggest sexual turnoff that you can ever demonstrate to a girl is that you can't be a man without her. You can't hold frame without her, okay? So that is the number five mistake that you want to avoid with trying to get a woman that you can't get is you want to give her space to chase you. All right, the number six mistake that you make when trying to get a woman that you just can't get is not staying on your path and purpose, right? And I'm not gonna harp on this one too long. I'm just gonna say that, hey, if you're a man, you should have your goals, your dreams, and your ambitions figured out by the time you turn 21, right? Sometimes it will come to you even sooner, but you should have an idea for what you wanna do with your life and then go pursue that. And if it turns out that you don't like that or for whatever reason it's not for you, change gears, right? You can switch careers to something else right? And then make that your new path and purpose. Whatever it is, you have to have one. You have to have some 
type of direct direction in life. The sooner you find it, the better off you will be. The more easy it will be for you to stay in abundance with not just beautiful women, but with people in general, right? People in general, even if like friends that you previously thought were higher value than you, like want to hang out with you, you, it won't bother you to be like, no, dude, sorry, can't hang out tonight. I'm busy, right? Because I got to work on my business or I got to do this, fill out this uh, employment application for this new job. You know, I'm busy or I'm researching this for this new, this company I just started working for. You're on your path and purpose right? And you won't be so fixated on any one person, whether it's beautiful women or, you know, uh, guy friends that you, that you feel are higher value than you. This is a big one is you need to find out what your path and purpose is in life. That will make things a whole lot easier for you. I know for me, like, you know, just dating multiple women, a lot of these girls are hot. A lot of these girls are girls that I never thought that I could ever get previously. Like, you know, (laughs) back when I was younger and now I'm dating these girls and it's like my old blue pill self would want to spend all my time with them, right? I wouldn't spend all my time with them, make sure nobody else gets them and I would make guard and all this other stuff. Whereas once I found my path and purpose in life and I, I established direction in life, these girls became second priority, not even lower than that, third, fourth, fifth priority. I have other things that are more important than that, right? I'd rather hang out with my animals. I mean, I'd rather you know, doodle and uh, just come up with new topics to do videos on and, you know, spend all my time with these chicks. It's like they get my intermittent attention, right? And because of that, they stay attracted to me because they see like, oh, this guy is on his path and purpose and he cannot be distracted away from that, right? He is like, he has a mission in life and his mission is to accomplish what he's out to accomplish. He has goals. He has ambitions. You'll see girls even put this in their dating profile. Like, hey, no losers, right? No guys with no ambition. Please have a life, right? What are they trying to tell you? They're trying to tell you like, dude, have your shit together, right? Have some direction in life. Have focus, okay? So uh, that is the number five biggest mistake that you're making with women you can't get is not, not, having a path and purpose and not staying on that path and purpose and letting the girl just kind of distract you away from that and making her again the star of your movie and the seventh and final biggest mistake that you are making with women you can't get is you are not gaming other girls you do not have backup options and i kind of touched on this briefly earlier but When you're out there and you're dating these girls, you must have backup options. You must have other girls who are in your pipeline who are ready to go in case, right? Just in case anything goes astray with your relationship. And many times by having those backups and her knowing that, hey, this guy can leave me at any time and he could be with this girl, he doesn't need me. Just by having that really keeps your girl in check. It keeps her from straying. It keeps her from exercising her open hypergamy. It keeps her from going out there and searching for the BBD, the bigger, better deal. Because she's like, wait a minute. Um, I don't want to lose this guy, right? She's like, I don't want to lose him to another girl. Just the fact that she knows you can go out there and pick up another hottie outside of her will keep her in line. It will keep her in check. And the second she feels that you cannot do that, the second she feels like that she's your only option, that you only have one choice, which is her, what's the scariest number in the world, guys? One, right? When she knows that she's the only one, she's your only option, that is when she goes astray because she feels like, oh, I'm not with the highest value male I can can get. How come no other women want him? How come no other women are trying to chase him down? Right. Uh, Luckily, in my position now, I mean, a lot of these girls, as angry as they get when they see my pickup videos or they see like a lot, I post a lot of infields and (laughs) videos and photos like that on my Instagram. I'm at Matt Cross Official, by the way. Once they see that, they're like, you know, it it makes them treat me better. It, It keeps them from going out there and doing what most women do in relationships, which is search for the BBD. Okay, because. One thing that is very, very powerful with attractive women, I mean, which is women, period, is social proof, right? Social proof. I mean, it, it's, 
it's powerful for humans in general, but especially for women, because women really do look at other women to see what they have. And then the more that they see a guy is wanted by other women, the more they want that guy. And the guy can not even be that attractive, right? The guy can be like, okay looking. But if he has a lot of women around him and uh, he has a lot of social proof, she's gonna wonder why, right? And if she's dating you, she's gonna be like, okay, wait a minute, I have competition. Right? I have competition and I have to make sure I treat this guy right. Otherwise, he may leave one day. And a lot of times you may have to. You know, I mean, there are times where I might argue with my girl or one of the girls I'm dating and um, I don't feel I'm being treated right. And I will just kind of ghost her for a few days. I'll just walk away and do my own thing. Right? And it's just, I just want to spend time away from her just to let her think about what she's doing and let her realize, like, hey, do you value me enough to start treating me better or? Do you want to just cut me loose and I could just, you know, bring in somebody else, right? It's like the NFL around here. NFL stands for not for long, right? Because there's always somebody willing to take your job. There's always somebody ready to take your job, right? This is why we have backups on the sidelines because there's always somebody ready to take your place. And when the girl feels that and she feels that she has some stiff competition, especially if the girls are younger and hotter than her, believe me. She's going to check herself and she's going to make sure she treats you right. The problem is a lot of you guys are in these relationships where your girl knows, she knows there's no backup. She knows that she's your only option. She knows you can't go out there and replace her so easily. And because of that, she takes advantage of you. She takes advantage of the situation because that's what girls are wired to do. They're wired to take advantage of power. All right. And when you give her that type of power, she will take advantage of it. Hey, this is why you need backup options, right? You need to keep gaming other girls. That will keep you from sinking into scarcity. That will keep you from getting one-itis for any one girl. And that will keep you in abundance. And with that said, those are my top seven biggest mistakes that you are making with women that you just can't get. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. Do not forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube. More importantly guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Too many of you guys are still unsubscribed to my channel and uh, YouTube is even unsubscribing guys from my channel. So you wanna make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. That way you get all of my latest brand new coaching videos right as I upload them. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill content that I'm teaching guys even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, you guessed it, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to get your ass out there and start approaching and closing the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens, the cream of the crop, the most highest caliber women out there that are not feminists, that are not damaged goods, that are not single mothers, but the high value, high quality women out there that you can bring into your life. And trust me, these are women that myself and my students are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, every single week. Okay. And right now, it's only a buck to jump into seven months of mastery. It's only one dollar, right? It's the it's a deal of a lifetime. You can get an entire month worth of coaching lessons from me, all for just one buck. And it's real easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video.